Good morning, beautiful people. It is March the 15th, 2013 at 10.55 a.m. The Ides of March. Well, I've got a story to tell you this morning, and this might take a couple of videos because there's so much information coming through. And um, it uh, has to do with what's going on around the planet. And um, it's a call for a global meditation. And this might take two videos to tell the whole story. It might take three, I don't know, at this point. But anyway, just expect that, you know, this could go longer. But right here up front, I want to tell you that there's a call for a global meditation of light for all who will join in and please share this far and wide and it's for March 19th at noon Pacific time and that noon Pacific time it turns out to be uh, calculated at UTC on um, just a second I got to pull up uh, my work here it's calculated at UTC 7 o'clock p.m. Tuesday, March 19th, 2013 at Greenwich Means Time. So it's 12 o'clock noon um, U.S. Pacific Time. Now anyway, here's what's going on. Um, many of you know that I get called for certain mass activations here and now and one of the last ones um was the 40-day event um i've done several 40-day events for activating heart chakras of of many many people around the planet for all who would join in and to bring them into their enlightenment chakra activation empowerment and all all that sort of stuff but uh anyway um the last big one um which corresponded to a world event occurred encapsulating the Gulf oil spill. And many of you which will be who will be participating in this mass meditation was was uh, uh, was a part of that one then. And um, and we really have diminished the Gulf oil spill dramatically. But this particular one Many of us know that on March 20th, we're coming into the spring equinox, and this is a time for a new beginning. We've just crossed over the halfway point of the Great Tribulation. With that, we've had, you know, um, the global first global common law court uh, find the Pope, the Queen, the um, Canadian Prime Minister, and many, many others. Uh, guilty of war crimes and have handed down their verdicts and sentencing on it and actually it's verdicts on it um, but uh, it's really causing ripples across the globe and the OPPT or the One People's Public Trust is also doing the same right now there is a huge fight for the powers that were to maintain it's like their last death gasps and many of us have known that the second half of the tribulation this is what we would see and as of february 22nd into the 23rd we crossed from the first half of the tribulation into the second half of the tribulation now just before pope benedict stepped down the week before he had done negotiations to um to be able to allow uh, and have seats at the place of the Last Supper in Jerusalem. And uh, this is the Temple Mount, and this is where very uh, much of the Muslim, Jewish, and Christian uh, focuses upon right now. Uh, the Pope was able to negotiate seats at the place of Jesus or Yeshua's Last Supper just before he was crucified. In the past week, we have found that Obama um, 
riding on his democratic donkey, just like Jesus rode into Jerusalem on his donkey, um, is carrying 12 Republicans, like the 12 apostles. And on the 20th of March, they will be going to the place of the Last Supper in Jerusalem. So that's what this global meditation is all about right there. Um, these persons are biblically the abomination of desolation going to that place where they should not be seen. This is biblical prophecy. Um, I know many of you guys are going to be wanting to jump up and down and say, no, it's not, or it could be something different, and that doesn't really matter. And we don't need to create polarities or one-sidedness here. And with that, I want to say that for the spiritual warriors out there, for the warriors out there, you know that to have any type of battle, any type of fight, you have to have an opponent. Otherwise, you're shadow boxing with yourself. And that's exactly what I want to say about this. A couple of days ago, I started getting messages that we had to do global meditations. And I was looking at hearing the message that we needed to focus on the individuals, just like the Queen of England or the Pope or, you know, whoever it is, these, uh, uh, persons that are wanting to get us into World War III and focusing our light and intent and energies upon them. And uh, it seemed to be not a message that was just supposed to come in from me. It's a message for many of us here on planet that are here to bring forth these changes in the end times and to to bring people together for unified focus intent to project our light and our thought and with that i had had an experience um the other day it was just before my last video a lot of you guys saw me a little bit emotional and i was for multitudes of reasons there right now i've been psychically attacked like many of us have been for some time uh the guys that are still playing their 40 games the powers that were are hacking into all my systems trying to shut me down in every way possible um interfering with conversations um that i'm having with other people's right as something important is being said and anyway that particular day i had left uh I had let seven of my remaining chicken ladies out of their coop and gave them petting and loving and let them go and um, told them to have a good time and only six came back. And I walked all over and around the property looking for a take site, a kill site, someplace with feathers where you would have seen, um, seen that the animal was taken and it was not. Um, I could not find that anywhere, and I am very much a, I've been a professional tracker before, and so, and trail guide in the Arctic, and, and I've been hunting and tracking and doing this stuff all my life, so, you know, I, I notice things like a lot of people don't, and uh, anyway, I walked all over the property that evening, right as I was bringing the chickens back into the coop, and I could not find any sign of a takedown spot the next day i got up let them out again had put a force field of protection around them had a talk and said you know don't wander off and i thought this one chicken might have wandered off because i had two that were actually doing that and i walked all over the neighborhood speaking to everybody um uh seeing if you know that happened and uh anyway i started exploring this uh this piece of property that's abandoned, it's on the opposite side of me here, where directly from where I am right now to the opposite side is that in the middle is the vortex that we created uh, way back in October of 2012. And 
actually it was uh, just before the 12 12 12 where we placed the crystal in and uh, many of y'all know that that uh, where I am right here in Crystal River Florida is where the nuclear power plant is that they're having so much problems with that's contaminating everything it's also between um, the Blue Rush and the or Rainbow River and the Crystal River and it's where the manatees are this is uh, right between the ley line the ley line that goes from the Bermuda Triangle up to British Columbia goes right over my head right here is the the mark of the uh, southeastern United States crystal grid right here this is all going on right where I am this is why I'm here anyway the dark side as you know has been trying to control ley lines and um, trying to stop those of us that work with the planetary vortexes and there's two vortexes here on this property trying to keep those vortexes from activating and just on the opposite side of this particular piece of property is an abandoned piece of property and the other morning I had walked there to to look for my chicken lady and something very strange and supernatural happened to me and as I was walking on the eastern side of that property coming up on the fence there was a charcoal and black wolf and I repeat wolf this is not a regular dog and it was not a normal animal of any means that was backed up against that fence about 10 yards out from me and when I saw it when we caught eye and it was almost like he was waiting on me and when we caught eye and he was under a palmetto um, and creeping like a cat until I saw him and when he saw that I saw him he jumped like a deer like no other dog could do and he went off right next to me and then jumped up and absolutely disappeared it was like he went through a wormhole or vortex and I had the most strange feeling about that it was bizarre and it was almost like what you would think of as a shapeshifter, like the Apache Indians or, or those around the Four Corners know about the shapeshifters and how certain fourth dimensional shaman and medicine men can transform themselves into that, witch doctors and so on. Anyway, I asked a friend um, who channeled, who channels, and that was confirmed. It was indeed a wolf. And, um, it had to do with my chicken being moved and it was an attack on me and it was something that uh, that was directed trying to break down my light and see that's what I want to say about what's coming up on this meditation and I might have to do this in the second video but it's not for us to be an opposing force because to fight you have to have an opponent opponent here this meditation we wish to absolutely send light to the world and to those dark souls that are upon this world not as an opposing force but as an overshadowing force now we've got one of the most major cmes in some time that will be hitting here just about the turn of utc at the 17th of March in two days and this is going to be a powerful time for us to incorporate more light into this being to do our clearing to raise our frequency to hold more light quotients so we can do this meditation so what's going on right now is really almost supernatural um, and I'm gonna have to speak more of that in the second video and tell you the story of, of more of what has happened and uh, Anyway, uh, it's a pretty magnificent time to be alive, but I request that you share the information about this meditation on the 19th at 7 o'clock p.m. UTC or noon Pacific time. And uh, join in just shedding your light and don't fight.
don't fight. Don't be an opposing force. Anyway, bye with this video. Love you all. I'll do another video.